Welcome everybody to MUTV's Sit Down with a Marquette Athlete. I'm Jonathan Fick and today I'm joined by Lauren Thomas Johnson of the Marquette women's basketball team. How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. So looking forward to the upcoming game against Oral Roberts. Yeah. They have a player called Georgia Jones. Yeah. And you two know each other a little bit? Yeah, we actually played together when we when I was eleven and she was eight years old, back for the Manchester Mystics in England. So we've grown up together. We played for Great Britain together, England together, so yeah. All right. I mean, that's a <laughs> small world, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, Tell me a little bit, I mean, you're obviously from England and you kind of bounced around a little bit, now you're at Marquette. How's, mm -hmm. how's your stay at Marquette been so far? Oh, I, I love it so far. I, love it. I was just talking to Crystal actually before, like, it's crazy because I wish I came here for the four years, but when, then I went to JUCO and what happened at JUCO was su such a blessing. We won two back-to-back -back championships, but so far I love it. I'm so happy and, yeah. Well, all right, since you're from England, we're going to stick to this international <laughs> thing. You went with the with England's Olympic team mm -hmm. to the to Beijing. Tell tell me a little bit about that. Well, um, it was the ambassador program, so um, I'm a prospect for the 2012 Olympics. It's in London. It's in England. So they took um, basketball players and they took um, like judo players. They just took them over, and it's basically just to get like a feel of um, just basically the Olympic life. We went to like the holding camp where all the Great Britain athletes, like the runners and stuff, where they're held and what they eat. And just basically it was just like, we just live in the life of the athlete just to see what they do. We went to the Olympic Village and then the basketball players went to watch basketball games and like the judo went to watch the judo. So it was a lot of fun. It was a great experience. All right, well now let's get back out of the Olympics, back to Marquette basketball for a moment. We have so many great guards on this team. What's it like to kind of com compete against your teammates and you know, push each other, that kind of thing? It's really good because it's when you go to practice, it's not just, oh, I know I'm starting. I'm th it's You have to battle every day for your position because we're, so, we're going to be so good in the front and the back court this year. So it's, it's real good. You've got uh, me and Nelly are fighting all the time, in well, battling all the time in practice. You've got Angel and Crystal going at each other. So it's a lot of fun. It's really, really fun. Well, you mentioned we're going to be so good. The expectations are kind of high. Are you looking forward to this, to both this brutal Big East schedule and this brutal non-conference schedule that Terry's put in front of you? Yeah, we're we're all really excited. It's gonna like we all we're just a real we're real together and we're gonna it's a, we're a real strong team. So it should it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're just going out there and just gonna try and have fun and win all the games we can. So it's gonna be fun. What's it like to kind of sit down and realize that from about January to March there's not a single night off <laughs> and you're playing some of the best teams in the country, UConn, Rutgers, and so on. Well, really, that's the motivation. Like, we're going to go out there. We're going to play the, the best of the best every night. It's not just like the Big East is the, one of the best conferences in the country. So it's good to wake up and know that it's not you're going to go out and win a game by 50 points every That's not what it is. It's anyone can win, anyone can lose, which we're going to win, obviously. So <laughs> I like the confidence, yeah. the confidence a lot. So, I mean, this team last year won the WNIT. They're going to unveil the the banner this Saturday, do I mean even though you were part of that team, does that kind of experience seem to leach its way through and affect this team? Yeah, right now? yeah it does because um, the team is coming off obviously a win and they're very, they're very confident and I think it's they've got that drive that they want to do more like the WNIT was brilliant but I feel like they want to do more and then having like the two f new freshmen and me and Bree who have just come off winning a national championship at Kirkwood it's just we we all want to win we all want to just go b above and beyond the WNIT so how happy are you to be a part of this you know this run in 2008-2009 sorry say that again sorry. How, how happy are you to be part of this team I mean with so, such high expectations such a, such a high ceiling great oh I'm it's going to be such a good experience. I'm just ex I'm just ready to get it started. It starts on Saturday, and then the ball is just going to be rolling from then. So I just want to get it going. I think we're all right now. We're all so anxious. Uh, that's why, because we've been. It's like we've been. The exhibition games was just like a bit of a tease, and then now it's like we're just ready to get down and play. All right. Well, like she mentioned, season kicks off on Saturday. You should. Everybody should come down and support the Women Golden Eagles down at the L. That's going to do it for us today. I'd like to thank. By our guest, Lauren Thomas Johnson, for sitting down to talk with us about the season. And remember, you can catch all of these interviews on GoMarquette.com and the MUTV Sports Blog, MUTV-Sports.blogspot.com, and of course, Channel 99 The Dorms. Thank you very much. <laughs>